Hey y'all, it's Chef Mike C, and you guys are probably watching this because you signed up for the wine and popcorn pairing for Jessup Seller's Art House short film series. So, if you haven't already, you will be receiving your boxes with all the fun to make the popcorn that go along with the pairings with the Jessup wines. This one is the Smoky Bacon Blue. But each kit, no matter what flavor, come with four components. There's going to be some sort of powder in it, which this is a blue cheese powder. A popcorn, this being Persian blue. A cooking fat, this is our baking fat. And on the cooking fat, you'll notice a little note down at the bottom to refrigerate these upon arrival. Those are all shelf stable. They stay a lot fresher if you keep them in the fridge until you're ready to use them. And last but not least, a fun flavored salt. We have some applewood smoked salt here. So to do the popping, you're going to need your stovetop and either a full-size 14-inch wok da -da -da, and the nice dome lid. Or if you don't have a wok, you want to have real large soup or stock pot with a big old lid. Because each one of these recipes popcorn makes a whole heck of a lot. And if you don't want to eat it all at once, you can pop this with half of the ingredients each time so you get two batches out of it. So to pull this off, we're going to put our pan on high heat. And you want to take your fat, and we're going to throw that in. And to that, we're going to add and pour in our popcorn. And today I'm just using half a batch, right? So you can see how much that's going to be. And then the salt. So we have everything here in the pan. And the other thing I'm going to need is this heat resistant spatula or wood spatula. Okay, and we're going to keep on stirring this around. You want to make sure to stir it pretty vigorously, but not too hard so something flies out of the pan. By stirring it really constantly and kind of fast, what we're going to do is make sure all the popcorn kernels are cooking evenly. That way you're going to get the maximum amount of pop. Because if you were doing it right, you should have very few kernels that don't pop. Now depending on how hot your stove actually gets, and regardless if it's on gas or electric or you have induction or an electric cook pop, you want to have this nice high heat going. You might be able to hear it's starting to sizzle. So we're going to keep on stirring and stirring and stirring until we start having a couple of those kernels pop. And not just pop, but you want to have the first one pop just about out of the pan. Then we'll put our lid on. Stir, 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 stir. And a couple of tra la la. So now it's starting to pop, right? So we're gonna throw the lid on. And you can hear that popping, right? So we're gonna shake the pan a little bit nice and gently just to make sure everything's still stirring around. And we're gonna continue to cook it until you hear very few pops. And we'll know it's done. Okay, you can hear the popping is slowed down to pretty much nothing. So we're gonna shut off the heat. So once the popping stops, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wok, and practice this fancy move, we're gonna flip it over. And mind you, this was half a batch. So you can imagine if you used it all, it's gonna be a ton. Then we're gonna take our powdered ingredient, this being blue cheese for the smoky bacon blue, sprinkle that over the top, 
and stir it up. Get it really well incorporated so all of those kernels get some of that beautiful blue cheese flavor. Then you're ready. All you have to do is grab yourself your bottle of Jessup wine, crack that open, start drinking it along with your favorite people, sit down in front of the tube and turn on the short films and enjoy your delicious popcorn. That's darn good. Till next time, folks. Cheers.